Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine. You didn't ask the correct questions. No, I'm not an addict. Obviously, I was extremely, extremely inebriated. It's been a dramatic week at the Toronto Mayor's office. Rob Ford's drug admission and subsequent revelations put the mayor under global scrutiny, but he won't step down. Today, Ford's lawyer, Dennis Morris, and his brother, Councillor Doug Ford, are commenting on the mayor's struggle. One of the most powerful storms ever recorded slammed into the Philippines today, killing at least four people. Hundreds of thousands of people were forced to leave their homes. Winds reached an astounding 314 kilometers per hour, knocking out power and communications in many provinces where the extent of the damage is largely unknown. This is the strongest tropical cyclone to ever hit land. Dramatic new video was out today showing the moment when Russian security agents boarded the Greenpeace ship Arctic Sunrise. The video, released by Greenpeace, appears to show the activists peacefully submitting to their arrest. In September, Russian forces detained 30 people, including two Canadians. The group had been staging a protest at an offshore Arctic oil rig. They've been charged with hooliganism, and Russian officials say some of the activists could also face charges of resisting arrest. The investigator probing the death of former Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat has named Israel as the only suspect in the case. Arafat died in 2004, and Swiss scientists reported this week that he was probably poisoned. His body contained elevated levels of radioactive polonium. A separate investigation by Russian scientists indicates polonium likely didn't cause his death. But the Russians agree that Arafat did not die of disease or old age. Israel has denied any role in Arafat's death.